give him my breakfast, my lunch, my snack, my supper, and even days that I was busy doing coaching or whatever I was doing, he would send me at 10.30 at night, where's your picture? I was like, oh, okay. So I'm like, oh, I don't, I'm not hungry though, I don't want to eat. So he would say, you know what, Michelle, eat a protein, make a protein shake. So on behalf of that, I, said, I stuck with it for the six weeks, honestly, you guys are freaking amazing. I know each and one of every you guys, I know all you guys in this room. And I remember from day one, the beginning, where I'm going to say this, I coach you guys too on the blue. I do. I'm very hard sometimes. You guys know I'm that coach that is like, I'm going to bust your balls and do whatever. But I do that because I believe in you. I know that you guys know more than what you believe in yourself. I hate those words when you guys say, I can't. What do I say? Those that say they can't, they won't. Those that say they can, they will. So when you said that you cannot do a push-up, six weeks later you're doing those push-ups, what does that tell you, right? What does that tell you? So on behalf of me, myself, I love you guys. You guys killed this freaking uh, six-week challenge. Give your round of yourself a round of applause because you guys earned it. Thank you. Not only is she the best posing coach, oh my God. RJ, do you remember we had to be the posing coaches? Oh, Don't even go there. <laughs> uh, not only is she the best coaching, posing coach, but she is my coach. I can't imagine doing these challenges without you. I couldn't imagine my life without you. And uh, I'm going to pass over to Coach Candace. Well, I couldn't have done it without you either. So I start with uh, Big Body Boot Camp in December. And before that, actually, RJ and David kind of got me as a posing coach and on the six week challenge and then I was with you guys for two challenges but this is the first challenge where I was like fully immersed in it and I have to say every single one of you here just look around and look how many people are around you right now they are your supporters they are your fit fam and I just got to say I'm so proud of each and every one of you whatever you faced along the way and on your journey in these last eight weeks got you here today. And guess what? This is only your beginning. So now is the time to just keep focused. Those goals that you have, keep building on your goals. And Team Shred, today we're celebrating eight weeks. Every single little win that got you here, every loss that got you here was a lesson. <coughs> Don't take it as a loss. Take it as another chance to stack your wins. As your coaches, we're here from day one, giving you all the tools to assist you in your growth. When we see you take the tools and apply it in your health and fitness, it drives us to keep going. That's why I love what I do. Every single time I see you guys on the blue crushing it, it drives me to go crush it on the blue. And all your posts within the Facebook page, sometimes I might not have commented, my day gets busy too, but I try and throw out the like, heart message if I really love it, but keep it up you guys. Each time you post it in there, it's not only driving me as your coach, it's driving those other people around you. So today, I get the privilege of giving a prize to the most interesting Facebook posts. This particular client of ours, she had this sense of humor where she used these like Facebook filters, which I can't even, I don't even know how to use all those filters. And uh, always was like super honest and open and like shared her struggles in the day. And it was amazing how like many people could feel for her and like relate. And I just absolutely loved seeing these posts. So it really stood out to me. And that one prize I would like to give. This one is going out to Miss Haley. Yeah. 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 Star. I keep doing what you do. Keep posting in the fit them. We are so proud of you. And we're so proud of each and every one of you. So let's give it for Haley and her interesting Facebook post. Our next presenter, you guys might know him. He uh, owns Fit Club. Let's give it up for RJ. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. When I say last set, you say best set. I say that last set. Okay, so I've been doing this for a very long time, and when you do something for a very long time, you kind of like, question is, what is my motivation? And honestly, every time that I open up Facebook, and every time I see everybody's posts, that's what truly motivates me. And Nikki, you motivate me. Haley, you inspire me. So, I want to read Haley's post from today. A wise coach once told me to keep my old baggy workout shirt. As a reminder, when I earned myself a cup, coveted, 
Fit Club, then Fit Body tank top. Of course, I listened to him and I'm so glad I did. Please keep an old shirt. Everybody, please keep an old shirt and a pair of pants along with your measurements and before pictures. Because when you reflect back on that, you're gonna see the big changes. And I'm gonna tell you, this is probably one of the hardest things that anybody can do in their lifetime. Think about it. Like I coach at five in the morning. I get like some of these people, you know, day sees at five. Who the hell gets up at four in the morning? Nobody, right? We've got kids, we've got work, we've got shit, right? Like we got babies, like everything. Everybody's got their own thing. And so like for you even just to make it before work, after work, whatever it is, I'll tell you this. Look at your coworkers. How many of them are actually working out with you? Very few, right? Like you have at least 10 people that you talk to on a regular basis and maybe one of them's working out with you. So guys, give yourself a round of applause. Seriously, give yourself a round of applause. Let's go. Because you're doing what the majority of the world cannot do. Many of you are actually defying age, right? Like how many of us can say that we're in our 30s, 40s, 50s, whatever it is, packed, right? That you're getting in the best shape of your life. Like I'm in the best shape of my life right now versus when I was 22, right? Like how many of you can actually reflect on that right now and say I'm in the best shape right now than I was 10, 15, 20 years ago. So that is a huge, huge accomplishment. So I'm super proud of you. So every time that I open up Facebook, it's super motivating for me. And that's what continues to drive me to move forward. Now you're probably wondering, so this is the inner coaching. And so for me, like you see me more now on the blue because I want to get back, I want to reconnect with the members. That's what I got into this for. I'm a dolphin, right? Like I like to swim in pods, right? I just admit that, that's what I am. I love people, right? If I could do one thing, that'd be just to talk to every one of you and just work on everybody's goals. But that's not scalable. And so that's why I put these things in charge with the right people. So guys, let's give Dave a round of applause. Let's give Candice a round of applause. And Michelle and Trent and everybody else that works at Bitcoin. Because honestly, they're the true leaders. And so I try to instill every behavior, every aspect that I learn, and these guys repeat the process to success. Right? We have the most amount of 1,000 workout people on the wall of fame. And I talk to hundreds of gym owners every month. And nobody does it like we do. I'll tell you that 100%. Nobody does it as good as we do. And it's because of my team, honestly. So like, thank you guys for instilling the systems that we have. It's a repeatable process and it's successful. Now, my award is to give to the most helpful, right? And that's one of the things. It's like, we can only do so much, right? We have a team and there's you know only limited, but there's everybody else that's here. And so I think everybody in this room would agree with me, including Fabio and Mush, right? When people are acting up in the crowd, we always kind of point them out and isolate them a little bit. But, <laughs> but my award is the most helpful. Now think about it. In the challenge, who is constantly coaching, right? Like she's not even a coach, so now it's a girl. But she's also like always, always constant. And everybody, I can hear her right now. And 100%, I think that we all agree, Shelly Carpeic, who's not here, is the most helpful award. So let's give her a round of applause to be watching this later. Now here's some words. I said, hey, you're nominated for the most helpful award. She goes, wow, thank you so much for this nomination. So sorry I couldn't be there with all of my second family. I know how hard you all worked, and I'm sure you all look absolutely amazing, and I agree. You all were so eager to learn as much as you could to be the best versions of yourselves. I'm glad it could help in any way, and I will see you on the blue. Thank you. All right, everyone, let's give it up for RJ one more time. Yeah, thank you very much, RJ. As always, inspiring us to get at least 1% better every day and continually become the best versions of ourselves. So it's my turn to speak, and uh, there's not a lot to add from what our wonderful speaker before mentioned. The first thing I want to say is that I'm super proud of each and every one of you, whether it's your first challenge or last challenge or whatever said. The fact that you're here and you stuck with something for six weeks says a lot about you. Uh, so give yourselves another round of applause. Yeah, every time I do this, I'm like, 
kind of glad it's over at the end, but also super excited for the next one because I know that it's going to be, um, we're just going to do the same thing, right? It's repeatable and successful. So we, like now that we've done this a few times, when we see the success, we're just like, it's so inspiring to see it. And I can't wait for you guys to continue to have success. So remember, you don't have to have success during a six week challenge. You can have success every single day, right? Try to celebrate those wins every single day. If you learned at least one thing in the last six weeks, who's learned at least one thing in the last six weeks? Perfect. You guys are all winners and we're gonna to continue to win. So my two awards that I wanna give out, I'm calling these Shredder Awards, and they're really people that I just felt like took on the program, embraced all the challenges, were active in the groups. Um, so the first award I wanna to give to is Reagan. Reagan, come on up over here. So tell, tell us just a little bit about your journey and uh, some of the things we're going on over here. Everyone. Help her out, help her out. Help her out. Yeah. 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 Uh, looking, looking amazing, I might add. So I want to hear about a little bit about your journey and I also want to hear a little bit about your husband. <laughs> Okay, so I'm prenatal, so I'm emotional. Um, emotional sassy. So when I started, I uh, had a really hard time looking at my body after having a baby six months ago. So I joined the challenge. Okay. We talked about it. I also drank. <laughs> so, So I decided to join the challenge, and I had Mary, who was going through the same thing. So shout out to her, because she is amazing and a motivator. She came through it and kind of showed me the ropes and encouraged me to keep going. So she was huge. And um, yeah, so I decided to do the challenge, and the coaches and you guys I know you guys were probably like, okay, enough with your Facebook posts. <laughs> you know what? That's me. Sometimes. But yeah, I was proud. My husband did it with me. And he lost 30. I lost 24. So that was awesome. Six pounds away from my pre-pregnancy weight, just saying. Hey. Uh, I'm feeling really good. So I'm really proud of myself. And thank you very much. Thank you, Ragan. Yeah. Super proud of you. And I, I love when, uh, for me to be able to like teach someone something, and then for them to be able to like, teach it to their husband, that's like, that kind of put the icing on the cake for that Shredder Award. So speaking of family and really making it a family affair, our next Shredder is also someone who uh, I really felt uh, embodies the challenge, took all of the coaching that we had, was really active in our groups, and uh, also pass along some of those things to her family. So let's give it up, everyone, for Kathy Bodie. Yeah. 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 A couple words, Kathy, come on up. Congratulations. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I wish I could cry first. <laughs> Anything you'd like to say to your fellow Fit Fem? Um, well, I have a shred, or shred squad, right? <laughs> shred squad. Oh. That's okay, Kat. So, Kathy, we're incredibly proud of you. Thank you for being one of our shredders. Thank you for bringing your whole family with us, and uh, we can't wait to continue being a fit fam. So, everyone, let's enjoy this night. You guys have earned it. I can't wait to party with you. RJ will be at the bar if you need them. And uh, one more time, everyone, when I say team, you all say shred. Oh. Team!